Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to see the compare. So what is compare generally? Suppose some user is already in our lab database. Now we need to confirm like with some field name like that SN or the display name that is already existed or not. So for that we are going to use compare. So you can see here they have also mentioned like given attribute and value against the entry by the DN. So in that what you need to require so first of all you have to enter the dn of that user right and you can see here the sn right sn means like here the field like which field you are going to compare like on the basis of display name uid or sn and this will be the value okay so what we will do we'll go to the code and i will just copy our old code come down and here just change like compare and now just go to the lab js directly copy whole thing come here and paste right so we need to use our if and else right just come so now we no need that code remove right now we are going to update with our requirement so this dn we are going to pass dynamically right so which attribute we are going to compare so i'm just going with same attribute like sn123 right now i need to change the value as a 123 see you can see 123 i'm putting the static you can pass the dynamic also you can pass the attribute also dynamically here what it will return it will return the boolean value match so what we are going to do just come and put here result right and copy paste so actually what will happen you have to pass the dn and it will be the field name so we are going to compare the field name sn with the value 123 so if it will match let's see what it will return so just go to the top copy okay and call our function so we need to enter the dn of that user so how you can get the dn of that user just go to the properties and you can see the dn right so just copy whole thing and copy paste right now run so once you will run you can see we are getting the result as it true that means of that dn that user is already there with some value whatever we have entered so now what i will do I'll just change the value with some different right so we have already know like the value will be one two three but we are entering here wrong so what we can expect the output result must be false right you understand so whenever you need to compare just go and use the compare method so in next uh, tutorial we are going to see how to update the dn of that user so you can see here currently we are having the dn as a cn test so in next tutorial we are going to update the dn 